Hello and welcome back to my vlog. Uh, had some other things all ready for today and then, uh, you know, it was brought to my mind that it's 9 slash 11. So I thought I might talk about that for a minute. Um, I don't want to get wrapped all up in all the negative about it. Conspiracy theories, etc. and so forth. There's plenty of stuff out there that you can look at. And if you believe the government's conspiracy theory, I uh, really wonder how much you think about things. Uh, but not to be negative, um, there have been many tragedies around this day. Just remember last year with Benghazi. So what I was thinking is um, probably not what most people are thinking about on today, and that is how can we change our global mindset um, so that we're thinking about peace instead of thinking about revenge and killing people and how many people died and all the negative that can be centered around this day as well as a few other select days throughout the year. And uh, this brings me to the things I'm reading lately and thinking about, uh, especially with Greg Braden's stuff on um, on uh, the fabric of the universe and how uh, everything is intertwined and how the emotions, human emotions, can affect DNA and DNA can affect the stuff of the universe. Um, whether you believe it or not, there's a lot of experiments uh, by quantum physicists that lead us to uh, that point. And there's a um, a Greg Braden video, um, The Language of the Divine Matrix, which I'll probably link to, well, I will link to it uh, below in my um, comments on, the, on this video. Um, and there were some experiments done. I'll see if I can locate it. Probably not because there's a good three or four hours of video involved in his uh, Language of the Divine Matrix. Um, but there were some experiments done where um, there was some meditation that was going on uh, in certain areas at certain times and the level of violence actually decreased when everyone was focused on uh, peace and harmony. Um, recently, I um, saw across my Facebook timeline something about a uh, global meditation for peace. I don't know whatever happened to that. I think I signed up for it, but I have received no more um, information about it. So um, I'm just wondering, what, where is your focus most of the time? What do you think about? Uh, do you think it's possible that if more people were focused on uh, compassion, peace, love, harmony, um, and put themselves in that emotional state uh, more often during the day that things might change. And the next 9-11 would be a day of peace instead of a day of remembering. I mean, how much more salt can we pour into that wound? Every year at this time, people bring out the big salt shaker, and if their wound has started to heal, they cut it back open so they can dump more salt in it. What purpose? is served by that. I don't know. So it was a short video today, but I wanted to touch on some thoughts that maybe most people aren't thinking about on this global remembrance of nasty, horrible things, happening day, dump salt in the wound, etc., so forth. How about we focus more on healing and, and healed? Um, actually, that's the way the fabric of the universe works. We need to focus on being healed, not even healing, because healing means there's still a wound. All right? So <clears throat> that may or may not make sense to you. Just think about it. All right? And make it a great day. That's your choice to make it a great day. And bye for now.